As you arrive at the scene of an emergency, use the Dr. Scabs acronym D-R-S-C-A-B-S as a mnemonic device to assess the emergency and administer first aid care to casualties. Dr. Scabs stands for Danger, Response, Seeking Help, Circulation, Airway, Breathing, and Secondary Survey. Danger. Assess the scene for danger and ensure no immediate threat is present. Be sure the scene is safe before you attempt to provide first aid care. And periodically recheck the emergency scene to ensure that new dangers have not arisen or returned. If danger is still present, you will also have to consider moving casualties to safety before providing first aid. Response Assess the casualties response level. The casualties response levels will assist you in your triage of care, determining how to treat the casualties and in what order. Seeking help. It's crucial that you request proper medical assistance as soon as possible when responding to an emergency. If you cannot request assistance yourself, tell someone else to do so. Provide information on your location, what caused the medical emergency, the number of casualties and severity of their injuries, whether the casualties are mobile or require stretchers, along with any special equipment or services needed for the casualties. Circulation. Stop life-threatening bleeding. Heavy blood loss from an injury can cause death within minutes, so severe bleeding or hemorrhage needs to be treated immediately. Lesser, non-life-threatening bleeding can be deferred until the secondary survey. Airway. Open and maintain the casualties airway. If a casualty has an obstructed airway, they will not be able to breathe. This can cause permanent brain damage within four to six minutes or even death. Breathing. Once you've opened the casualty's airway, check their breathing and provide CPR if necessary. Secondary survey. Reassess the scene for danger. Once you've ensured that all immediate life-threatening injuries have been treated properly, Proceed to treat casualties for shock and provide thorough first aid care for secondary injuries, including burns, musculoskeletal injuries, other battlefield injuries, and non-life-threatening bleeding.